Now let's take a look of a more intimidating integral. This is the integral from 0 to square root of 3 over 2, dr over square root of 1 minus r squared. First of all, I would like to make a note that this is the same as that. They just put the dr on the top. But this is the same as saying the integral of 0 to square root of 3 over 2, 1 over square root of 1 minus r squared, and we have the dr on the side, as usual. They are the same, just they look different, different notation, different of, um, of writing it. And now you have to ask yourself, derivative of what will give you 1 over square root of 1 minus r squared in our world? And the answer for that is inverse sine function. So this right here, based on knowing the fact that derivative of arc sine, derivative of inverse sine, is 1 over square root of 1 minus r squared. So when you're doing the antiderivative, you know how to do that. So the inverse sine function, and we are talking about r in this situation. So that's the antiderivative part. And now we have to plug in numbers. We are going to plug in um, r is equal to 0 up to r is equal to square root of 3 over 2. And the setup as usual, plugging square root of 3 over 2 into r. So we are talking about the inverse sine function of square root of 3 over 2 minus plugging 0 into r right here. So we have the inverse sine function of 0. And now, to evaluate the inverse trig functions, you have to think backwards. In this sine situation, you have to ask yourself, sine of what? Sine of what angle will give you square root of 3 over 2 for the ratio? Well, that's, that's just, uh, let me just show you how to do that on the side. So if you would like, you can just say, um, let's call the answer for this because when you have an inverse trig function, the outcome is going to be an angle. I can call this to be like, say, theta, for example. Theta is equal to that. Theta is equal to sine in inverse sine of square root of 3 over 2. And we can apply the regular sign on both sides. So we can say this is the regular sign of what angle will give you square root of 3 over 2. And you just kind of have to remember the definition of sine in the right triangle. This right here, in the right triangle, it means, it means what? Opposite over hypotenuse. And based on this fact, we can draw a triangle and we can figure out the angle. So we'll draw a triangle this way. Now draw to scale, okay? Well, let me, let me make it better for you guys. Let me draw a triangle this way. Right triangle, I put the angle theta right here. And the opposite side we know is square root of 3. The hypotenuse we know is equal to 2. And recognize this. This is a special tr right triangle. Special right triangle, square root of 3, 2. This right here will be 1. Based on this fact, you should know that this angle here will be 60 degree. This is the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. The angle that's opposite of the square root of 3, it will be 60. In another word, pi over 3. When you are doing calculus, you do radians. This is 60 degree. In another word, the angle theta is pi over 3, which we know the inverse sine of square root of 3 over 2 is pi over 3. Okay? And for this part, you have to ask yourself, sine of what angle will give you 0? And the answer for that is 0. So this is nice. This is right here, just 0. And guess what? We are done. The answer is pi over 3. That's it.